Ah, welcome. You're back. I knew you would be. You couldn't stay away too long. So, you must have liked last time's tutorial, didn't you? You know, the one about the sorter. You did watch it, didn't you? Well, how about I tell you another tale? This one is all about the handsome man who decided to make his sorter actually do something important for him. Alright, so in our last tutorial we made this simple item sorting system, uh, but that's pretty much all that it did. So today what we're going to do is we're going to add a few more components to it to make something hopefully a little bit more useful in an actual build. So the first component we're going to build is going to be just a very simple farm. Uh, I'm going to start this off with a 4x5 area. Uh, really, there are so many ways to build this. This is just a, a simple one I like to teach. Uh, and maybe to make it a little bit bigger, let's add a second layer that's one step down, which is going to be the same size again. All right, so there we have that. Uh, so the next thing we need is we need to have a trough for the water, because without water, our plants won't grow because the soil won't stay tilled. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit area on both layers just so that the water can have somewhere um, so it doesn't just flow out everywhere else in the world. This lasts for quite a few blocks, at least four or five blocks wide. Uh, so we'll, we're going to cover this up because you don't need to see the water, it just needs to be next to the blocks. And we'll go ahead and fill in the other side too. We don't need water on this side but I don't know, everything I build is symmetrical, so let's, my, let's make that look the same there, too. Uh, let's add one more at the end, and we're going to make a little trough to catch the, uh, the plants whenever they come down. So the next thing we're going to do is the actual automated part of this. Now, unfortunately, we can't do full automation yet because you know, the plants won't replant themselves, but we can, we can get as close to that as we, as we can at this point. So the first thing you need is you need a redstone repeater pointing at the block underneath each piston and then just a line of redstone going past that. Uh, and then we'll just push this out here so we can have a, a lever to test this out later on. So let's make sure it works. Come on. And there you go. All of our pistons went up and that's where they need to be uh, normally. So the next thing we need to do is, we're, what we're going to do with this is we're going to have water actually harvesting all the crops for us. So we need to have that water to go down. So that's what our pistons are doing. They're stopping the water from flowing while our plants get a chance to actually grow. And that's all we have left. So all we need to do now is get uh, a hoe of some sort and till the field until we're ready to plant. I'll speed this up so you all have to see this. What we're going to plant is some carrots. Really anything that has just standard growing features can be done the same way. You can do potatoes, wheat, those sorts of things. Uh, you could put soul sand instead if you want to grow some nether wart, whatever. I'm speeding up the process with some bone meal and there we go. Alright, so the last step for this one is let's go ahead and flip our switch. So what should happen is, there we go. Alright, our pistons went down, the water started to flow and all of our items went down into our trough for the most part. Uh, now this is just a, a quick and dirty way of doing this. You know, in an actual build you would want the sides to be a little better. Uh, like I'll probably put some, some half slabs on the sides just to clean it up a bit. Uh, but in a real build you would have better item detection so that you would know that everything would stay in the middle and wouldn't get stuck on the sides or you know, flow past where you actually want it to flow. But for a basic farm, this is what, what you'll be looking at here. Alright, so next we're going to be making a special kind of elevator. So the first thing we're going to do is cut out kind of a cross-shaped design and put wooden fence at the back two places here. Uh, and then we're going to expand it out a little bit, maybe one more. Uh, you'll, you'll see why in a moment. We need some water to be flowing back here in a moment. So the next thing you're going to do, except for that very last place, we're going to be filling this in with packed ice. It can't just be ice, it has to be the actual packed ice, just to make sure that it's not going to melt later on. Uh, let's test out with our water. Okay, good. We want it to be able to flow all the way around uh, and get to the, the fencing. Next we'll put a dropper, well, 
okay, did that wrong. So first we're going to build one more back and put a dropper. Then we'll put our water back in. There we go. All right, the next step we're going to do is we're going to add the glass itself. All right, so you're going to make sure that it all works. Okay, so let's add the glass next. Uh, now one thing to keep in mind, this is a, a pretty common design. I've seen it all over the internet. The, the video that inspired me is by uh, Nikos Blakos. Uh, I think some other people came before him, but I'll put links to those down in the description. So pretty much what we did here is we made a 3x3 three three tower as high as you want it to be uh, with the, uh, the non-ice fence at the bottom being in the center. Now all we have to do at the top is set up some sort of a collection uh, device. So you can put a chest somewhere. I'll, I'll go ahead and put one. Uh, yeah, that looks good enough. So we'll, we'll tear us out a little hole here. And we need to put some droppers. I'm sorry, some hoppers that are pointed into the chest. And there you go. That's pretty much it. So let's, let's surround this so that the items don't just, just fly off the top. But pretty much what's going to happen is we're going to put an item in the water. It's going to, in a way, kind of glitch inside of this elevator. Go all the way to the top, and there you go. Let's watch. As you can see, even though it's a solid tower, the item went all the way up the middle, popped into the hopper, and there we have it in our chest. Now, there are other ways to do item elevators with droppers and complicated redstone. Uh, I like to play on a server, so that doesn't work too well. So instead, I like to do just, just simple designs like this. So to make our dropper work, we're going to put a uh, comparator facing into it. And then next to that, we need two hoppers that are feeding into one another. Then just put one item in. And what it does is it makes a very simplified clock for us. So what will happen is every time that clock goes off, the dropper will fire and then an item will come out. Uh, then we need items going in there somehow, so let, let's just put a simple dropper, I'm sorry, a simple hopper in a chest, and let's see, there you go. Be sure not to put the water bucket in there, because that, that may suck up your water, I've run into that a few times. And there you go. Alright, now that we have our basic farm design, we also have our basic glass elevator design, and of course previously we made our simplified hopper system uh, to sort out things, and I'm, I made another one here. Let's combine it all together. So uh, you can make these farms in any shape. You can see I main, made mine uh, kind of in a triangular uh, kind of pattern, uh, but the same idea, right? So I planted my crops, I have my sorting system with the chests over here. Uh, as you can see in the back, it's the same as we made before, just in another build. Uh, the glowstone is just to make it look nice inside. We have our automatic uh, glass elevator and we have all of our pistons here and circuitry to make sure that the water doesn't flow when we don't want it to. All right, so let's toss a few random things in here. I always like to do this just to make sure the sorting system is actually working. And let's test it out. So all we have left to do is we flip the switch and it should do like our examples that we just looked at. So we hop up here. Yep, you see, you can see a whole lot of crops coming out. I've planted some potatoes and carrots here. Again, you can use anything that works in this style of farm. Uh, and it goes into some hoppers under that platform. And as you can see here, it begins to, to shoot up. Now this isn't the quickest way of of doing this, you know, obviously uh, you know, it's going to be working on those potatoes for a little while because it's going one item at a time. But I have to say it looks pretty, pretty neat. And if you're if you're not in a rush, this is this is a perfectly fine design. Um, but it works the same as the other one. I had to extend my water out a little bit. Um, but there you go. Now you can you don't have to wait for it to finish. You can uh, you can go ahead and turn off the water and start planting more crops if you'd like to. While you wait, you know, it's always good to have extra seeds or crops of some sort. Um, but other than that, this is, this is your system, right? And there you go.
The end. Be sure to tune in next time where I teach you more about how to make your farms even better by planting more than just carrots and potatoes. I'm sure you want to plant more things. Uh, but of course, for now, please like, comment, subscribe, share, suggest, all those things, and keep checking back for more tutorials.